what a welcome back to Omega Bay Energy. <clears throat> Don't forget to check out my website at omegabigenergy.com. What up, you guys? So this is surrender and let go of the past, but this is in reverse. <clears throat> and the other one says replace fear with love, but that's also in reverse. So it's almost like somebody here um, is afraid and they're in like this hater type energy. Um, good Lord. Let's see what the fuck this is. All right. It says, damn, I need light. Hold up. All right. It says, whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, it says you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right now. So I feel like someone here has not surrendered. They haven't let go of the past. And they haven't fully been able to live, I feel like, in the moment. And... It's like they're too busy trying to control shit or control um, things that they just cannot control. This person doesn't enjoy their life either. It's like they fucking hate, their, they hate themselves. This is right here. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, it says your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Now, this is somebody who's literally manifested. It's like they're so afraid of losing something that they've lost it anyway. And I feel like instead of looking or worrying kind of like about what's important it's like this person has focused so much on the things that they don't want to lose they don't want to let go of and the universe is kind of like yeah no you're gonna have to let go of those things anyway so it's like it really doesn't matter what this person wants to I feel like let go of or not because they're gonna be forced to let go of it because they want to keep it so bad or they want to force something so bad um oh my god what up what up Risa what up, Soup? Who else on here? Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, so I feel like somebody here has definitely, like, been trying to almost, like, hold on to something that they're just, they're not meant to have. So it's like, whatever's for you is for you. I don't give a fuck how much you try to twist and turn something to go in your favor if it's not for you bitch it's not fucking for you you know what i'm saying um and people need to let go of that shit mm. whatever that might be all right let's see <clears throat> yeah somebody here has been trying to avoid facing the truth they feel trapped um after trying to trap you pretty much, okay? Damn, I did not think that this late night sesh was going to be this dramatic. Fuck, I, I woke up, I cleaned the pad, kids are in bed, right? I ate, I found a motherfucking soda in the stash in the closet. I was like, oh shit, I'm about to open this bitch up right now. Go on live for a little bit and then go back to fucking bed, watch a movie. And then I was like, damn, this is going to be a juicy ass read, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. So I was like, you know, cheers. <laughs> mm. But I was kind of hoping that it was going to be a little bit of like a smoother message, but I guess not. I never know what the fuck I'm going to get out of these out of these cards. I really don't. Um, yeah, and this person has nowhere to go. You know what? There was a name that came up with the word M. So M, like Mary, could be significant. I haven't seen fucking Mary on here in a while. Anyways, anyway, bottom line is the letter M could be significant. Now, this could be the first. This could be Martha. Bitch, I'm done. Anyway, um, Miguel. 
moving around, unstable, nowhere to go. I'm done. Yeah, this is somebody that has fucking nowhere to fucking go. Michael, try to cheat you out of happiness. And they wanted you to waste your time. But it's like, in reality, they've done nothing but waste their own fucking time. Someone here could be trying to call you from fake numbers or this person. You could have gave this person a fake number or like this person does not have your number anymore. Hold on. If this is somebody who's been trying to call you. It's like they can't get a hold of you. Like nobody has your number anymore. What up? Ha ha. <laughs> he he ha. Um, yeah, this person cannot get a hold of you anymore. If you have had different numbers, it's like they don't. It's like whoever. What up? It's like whoever they have. I'm done, Manuela. Bitch, bye. I'm just going <laughs> to. Dating website. Here we go. This could even be like their fake name. This M, this letter M, this could even be like a fake name that they, uh, bitch, why? Mm -mm, mm -mm. What up, Fast and Furious? <laughs> mm. They've been sharing their energy with a lot of people too. And this is somebody who's very ungrounded, like their energy's all over the place. Um, what up, hey? Um, yeah. And it's like you if you haven't talked to this person in a while, it's like you've changed your life around. Like you have changed. M could even be the last name, okay, of somebody or a nickname or something like that. But it's like you've changed your life around. So, you know, you and this person, you don't talk anymore, bitch. And it's like, this is somebody too that they could have, um, they could have gone along with the situation, um, to try to set, I'm telling you to like set you up or put you like in some kind of a fucked up situation, um, that you didn't deserve to be in. And it's like, you know, you could be letting this person kind of like have to go through it like at this point because it's not your fucking, you know, if you try to help this person in the past or you were good to this person, they, they also went along with like making some kind of false statements or accusations against you and they knew that they were not true. And you're somebody who's like a good person. So it's like whatever they did to you in the past, it's like you did not deserve this shit. Like you for sure did not fucking deserve this shit. And I feel like they know this and this is their fucking karma. And this person knows like maybe they don't know that they're going through fucking karma and they're just a fucking idiot. But I feel like they can't believe like how um how you like got through this shit or how you were able to like overcome not having anywhere to go or maybe like they're kind of going through like shit that you were going through but like they deserve it you know what I'm saying like if this person tried to put you through some shit to experience a lot of losses it's like this person um it's like this this person they um they made like really stupid ass fucking choices pretty much and I feel like this is kind of like led that person to you know experience pretty much whatever the fuck they're experiencing right now Oh, well, bitch. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, look at Hustler Scammer. This is somebody who's a fucking idiot. This is also somebody that was... Okay, why am I getting like... This is like a family member of yours. So this could be somebody that like you're related to. That was helping like somebody who's like a karmic... Bitch. And this could be somebody too that they were... um Melissa. I'm also getting like Melissa or Marissa... And it's like, um, you know, <laughs> this, this is somebody that they were like helping talk shit about you or like, um, if they weren't the ones that actually made like the false statements, they were like making up rumors. Marissa is my name. Oh my God, bitch. And it's like, this is somebody that was, um, what up, bless. 
And so it's like this could also be somebody that was um well whatever or you could be named it or whatever. This could be a karmic take it where it resonates, but it's like this could be the person that was like helping kind of spread rumors so that way these false statements could look like they're believable. Maritza is my sister's name. Shut the fuck up. What up, Rena? Wow. Yeah, it's like they're they've been afraid of being exposed for a long time. And this is somebody that pretty much kind of like played like two faced. Like they were pretty much playing in your fucking energy. And this is someone that smiled in your fucking face and pretty much was like over here talking a bunch of shit about you. This could be to like family members. Um, you know, so when all this shit, bitch, I'm done. And it's because they didn't want to lose some kind of inheritance, or this person was trying to collect your inheritance, or they were trying to um receive something that was actually for you for them. Inheritance has came out already twice this weekend, I want to say, and I wasn't on really yesterday. I was on um, I'm amazed that I said your name, bitch. I didn't even motherfucking know, bitch. Hey Marissa. <laughs> well, who the fuck is Risa? Who the fuck is Renee? Who is that, bitch? No, I'm just playing. But you know what I mean? Like, um, my sister stole my inheritance, but I got it back. Good for you, shit. I'm telling you, like, and it's funny because you and Reina both have the R's on your, <laughs> both you bitches have a fucking, <laughs> the, the same initial too on your, um, Renee's my middle name. I love it. That's my daughter's middle name. Um. It's funny because both Reina and Risa, both of you guys have names that start with M's. Or, I mean, Karmics or whoever the fuck. You know what I mean? Start with M. Okay, that's funny. Okay. But, bottom line is, somebody here was trying to take something that was yours so you wouldn't either receive it. Or even if it's not, like, an actual inheritance because not everyone's receiving, like, fucking all this money. You know what I mean? Like, it's not always like that. Um, You know, not everybody is lucky like that to have that. But it's like, if this... Yeah, this is somebody that didn't think like the past was going to come back and like bite them in the ass pretty much. You know, this could even, excuse me, this could even be like um your spiritual inheritance, like the shit that you're going to receive like in the future to make your life harder. So you would like just have not like not have shit. You know what I'm saying? Could it be mom? It could be mom. <laughs> Mine's been scandalous. You know, what's funny is I was thinking about the time like maybe mom. What up, Anthea? Um, possibly it could be. Take it where it resonates. If it if that if that resonates for you and this is like kind of like your situation, then take it. You know? It could be for anything. The letter L. Okay, it could be significant. I'm not even gonna name names, just the letter L could be significant. Okay. This could be again a first name, a fake fucking nickname, loser. I mean, this could be for anything, bitch. So <laughs> take it where it resonates either you name both my parents laugh my ass off spot on oh my god um yeah look at security higher ups authority truth and justice is here wow this is this is what it says on this card about like truth justice and all the shit bitch yeah and it's like you're you're receiving some kind of of clarity here um you know higher ups could be involved in this shit authority figures um they could know the truth here or they are like justice is being served in this situation where these people are now being um you know having to answer questions from you know people that are higher ups i guess and they're you know so you can have some kind of truth or just you might not even realize like some of this shit that's going on it this might be things that like you don't even know that are going on yet you know sometimes these things don't even happen until like a year later i'm telling you um cleared karmic debts yeah it's like this is all happening i'm just gonna say this the reason why you're receiving justice and things are panning out this way is because you're you're clearing out your karmic debts your um you're moving in a direction to like better yourself, um, move away from people. Usually when you start moving away from people, you start going in another direction. This is when, um, it kind of like clears your path of like bullshit. So people can't sit here and point the finger at you anymore. Now that you've removed yourself from, you know, situations that people have tried to place you in, put you in that you didn't even need to be in, mention your fucking name, whatever the case is unbeknownst to you or be known to you. Um, now things can start actually like being um 
like going in your favor you know what i mean walking away is energetically liberating it really fucking is and physically right as above so below so i feel like you know these, these are people that used you as some kind of a scapegoat it says here it says they use you as a scapegoat um they love you but act like they don't peer pressure i'm telling you i'm telling didn't i fucking just say this shit didn't i just fucking say this shit i'm telling you like i didn't cover up these people were trying to cover up some bullshit by using you as a fucking scapegoat mentioning your name or trying to involve you some shit that try to involve you in something that you didn't have anything to do with or you didn't even fucking know about this is gross like people like this are like you got me fucked up if i'm about bye all right let's see next hold on what else this is this is like the type of shit that's just fucking sad yeah look at fake friend fake family member um skid row yeah this person is fucking broke as shit they don't have to be on fucking skid row but this is somebody that literally bitch and they don't have shit with trends being in reverse and trending yeah this is somebody that lived beyond their means or they just felt like they were gonna take some shit from you that didn't belong to them all right this is gross a person cut chunk of my hair under of cutting tag from my shirt what why would somebody even cut your tag I don't even understand that. That's fucking weird. What up, Mandy? <sighs> oh, shit. Or M could have been for Mandy. We fucking, we had the letter M and L come out here. Ooh, the letter J just showed itself as well. M, L, J. Um, but this is somebody, too, that was, like, using this money or using, like, shit to, like, make themselves look better. <laughs> and um yeah and it's like now they don't have shit to show for it like this is somebody that was like a show off this is somebody who was like a straight fucking show off hold on this fucking profile Anyway, all right. This is somebody too that's no longer. It's like you're not dealing with karmics that have been like trying to play games with you. Like you're basically not dealing with anybody who's fucking in this energy of like acting stupid. This is somebody too that was doing like, um, what up, Jason? Hi, how are you? This is somebody that was really, um, doing the most and i feel like they were also like doing some kind of like candle work or something like that um and this is someone who's very jealous of like just who you are as a person okay like they just can't stand you because you were fucking like born you know what i mean like this is someone that just can't stand the fact that like you have to breathe the same air on this fucking planet or some shit like that this is someone who's a whole ass kook bitch you already know, like, I was already telling you guys, the fucking kooks have been exposed. So, you know, if you want to hear about a fucking kook, what up, pink? <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much on this page, they will be exposed. So, I mean, hey, whatever. I did not, like I said, I don't, I am not in charge of what the fuck comes out of these damn cards, okay? This is just, I mean, hey, whatever. I don't have to come on here and share my fucking energy or receive anybody else's fucked up energy either you know what i mean so don't get mad at me bitches shit especially you karmic holes that are over here cross watching and shit listening about your damn self and shit trying to listen about what other people got going on like bitch so what fuck um <laughs> you can hate me now <laughs> um mm-hmm Mm -hmm. uh, yeah all right let's see <laughs> so the answer is fucking no the answer is no and you need to stop overthinking something so the answer is no and you have been overthinking like a motherfucker somebody here has been what up Danny licious 
Um, what up, Priscilla? Hmm. I have to be like Priscilla. Like what the? Uh, la la la. Okay. So the answer is fucking like, you no. Know, I don't know what somebody's overthinking about, but somebody's like super overthinking about a situation, and they need to pray about it more. Okay, if you, like you're really still like not sure, even though it's like confirmation. Because if you're overthinking, bitch, then you're overthinking. Then you're overthinking to the like tenth power of fucking Jupiter. And if that's the case, because the way that my motherfucking my brain works, if I am overthink, bitch, you already know. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, if you are in this energy, like, you need to fucking calm the fuck down. Calm those fucking tits, bitch. And, like, I don't know. Start talking to the fucking guides. To the gods. You need to start, like, somebody here needs to start respecting themselves more. Let's go, Carmen. I wish I could get paid for how much I overthink. <laughs> Hey, let me just say something. Overthinking sometimes is actually pretty interesting because I feel <laughs> we be thinking about shit that other people don't. So, I mean, hey, there is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Only sometimes, okay? <laughs> Only sometimes. But if you're aware of it, then, you know, it shouldn't be as hard as like not being aware, you know? But I feel like, you know, you do need to, like, somebody here needs to, I'm not going to say you, but, like, just somebody needs to start respecting themselves, okay, and not jeopardizing their dignity for anybody or any situation. Um, And it's, it, you know, it needs to be kind of like it's all or nothing type shit. Like, stop. You know what somebody had said? Um, What did they say? Fuck. About allowing people that are inconsistent to constantly keep coming back and apologize to you because it's almost like telling them that it's okay. It's almost like at that point, you're just allowing somebody to come in and just disrespect you. Like, what's the point of even having an apology? Like, they're just like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, then what's the fucking point? The more you do that, the more they're just going to think that it's okay to just continuously fucking disrespect you. And that's the longer that it's going to take to get rid of these assholes. I'm just saying. And you're not being yourself. Like somebody here is not being themselves. They're not expressing themselves the way that they want to or they feel like they can't. Might be for me. Literally spoke those words to someone yesterday. Did you really? <laughs> they will take you like a joke. Yeah. They really will. And I was like, no, you know what? And it's crazy because once I put my foot down, you know how much like I let people slide because they were my family or because, you know, my husband, right? Or my ex, my ex, bitch, ex, 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 ex to the fucking maxi pad fucking ex. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, you said you can't just keep saying sorry and not changing it. I'm telling you, like, you cannot. I, I, I let that shit slide for so many years of my life. And finally, when I put my foot down, like, they didn't think I was serious. Like, they did not. They Bitch, you know how many people cannot believe that I still have not came back? <laughs> or I still have not allowed anybody to fucking enter in my life anymore? Like, I am, com bitch, I am done. And when those restraining orders fucking come, time to, like, pretty much almost expire, bitch, believe that ass is going back to make sure that they stay in place. Bitch, I'm not playing about anything, especially when it comes to my peace, bitch. I have worked way too hard to allow people to come in and disrespect me or think that I'm not taking shit serious or that they can just, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, this is a lifetime shit. This is a lifetime, like, you are removed now. You know what I'm saying? For So, stop doing that. And it took, I feel like it took people a long time to finally realize, like, damn, she's really not. Yeah, bitch, I'm not. I'm not. So, you know, the longer it takes for these people to fuck and they will keep trying. They will keep trying. That's why I say there is no fucking peace sometimes without war, bitch. And sometimes it just really has to be that way because they will try to break you down to the point where you're going to be so tired. And I did get there broken down to the point where I was just like, damn, dude, anything just fucking can we just have peace, everybody? You know what I'm saying? But these are people that it doesn't matter. They're just never going to have any peace. I'm telling you, it took that finally that one fucking last straw, bitch. And I was like, motherfucking son of a bitch. You know what I mean? If you did not just motherfucking fuck shit up all the way up to the bitch. So I'm telling you, but somebody here is not being themselves. Like they're not 
I don't want to say fake, but it's like they're not speaking up for themselves. They're not doing or saying something that they need to do. Something like that. Boundaries. Definitely, it's so disrespectful. It's peaceful as hell to be no contact. It's just, you know what I mean? Some people, it's just people are, unfortunately, you're just, you have a lesson you have to learn with that person and that's it, you know? And then you part ways and move on and, you know, things change. But a lot of people, they don't like change. So, you know, it's hard to adapt to change. But at the same time, it's like, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. somebody here needs to start paying attention to the fucking signs and they really need to start putting up the fucking boundaries because if you don't it's like there's gonna be a time melissa just joined what up um there's gonna be a time where it's like you're gonna have you're gonna pay attention to the sign like after i don't know how many times you know what i mean spirit has been telling you to pay attention you're going to start and continue to reap the bad karma. Like, it'll be little towers. And then finally, out of nowhere, it's going to be like, boom, a big ass tower. And then you're like, fuck. But sometimes that's just what it takes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be all good. But it's just that sometimes it's just, it's that, yeah. Please listen to your intuition. I'm telling you, that's what the fuck it says on this card, to listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. You're supposed to be speaking up about something. You're supposed to be saying something or expressing yourself or maybe even expressing yourself in a different way, which I don't know. But you take it as it resonates. And I do feel like this month, it's going to be like, it's going to require you to be like extra on point. What up, still Lady G? <laughs> what up? Thank you for being a part of the team. Yeah, so, you know, and this is also about you not have, like, you can't rush this process. I don't know how many times I've fucking said it. You can't rush the process. You can't as many times as you want to. I can't tell you how many times I've actually thought, like, oh, I need to do this. I need to do this. And you really feel like you need to do all this shit. And then, like, you get another delay. And you're like, fuck. Why? You don't need to do anything. Like, let things kind of just be. And that's been a big thing for me. Make a wish. What up, Amanda? My favorite feminine fire sign. What's up? Mm. I'm telling you, like, you just can't. Like, sometimes you really have to slow down, especially for those that are used to doing, like, fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. And you're good with working under pressure. And that's cool and everything. But that's also not good because you're going to start having to train your mind to, like, slow the fuck down. And then when things finally do calm down, you're going to come to another point where you start um, creating situations where you feel like you need to be in survival mode or do things fast, fast, fast. And then you're realizing like, wait a minute, I don't. You don't. You don't. There's a lot of layers and steps and shit like that to this healing. And everybody is on a different journey. But I'm just saying like there's certain things I feel like a lot of us, we all kind of go through. Um in different ways but kind of the same but not <sighs> all right i'm gonna pull out these angel cards um the angel therapy oracle cards really quick and then we're gonna get into the tarot I need to stop eating at night. I literally like want a chocolate chip cookie right now. <laughs> but I'm also too lazy to go drive to go get one. Bitch. All right. I need to stop thinking about sugar. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Yoga. Yoga. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, I like your hair, girl. I like the redness. I love the red hair. Okay. <clears throat> so, Yoga. Yoga could be and peace offering. So it's like, hold on, hold on before I say anything. Hold on. Okay. Yes. So you really got to let it go. Somebody here needs to let it motherfucking go. Like let this shit go. And I feel like if you are a karmic and you're still trying to hold on to somebody else's fucking energy, you're mad at yourself. You're fucking pissed off because whatever the fuck you were trying to control and, and, create for somebody else just because of your fucking issue bitch let it the fuck go let it the fuck go i'm telling you this is a karmic energy let it the fuck go 
for some of you, I guess, whatever. But for some of you, you need to just let something the fuck go. Ground yourself and get it the fuck together. I hate to say it like that, but just just stop, okay? Freedom is out here. I'm telling this is what's going to help you free yourself. This is literally free your mind. I'm telling you. You desire freedom. You deserve freedom, right? Spiritual freedom, all right? Health and healing. Yeah, this is literally, you could be having health issues because of this shit. And it's because of this. I'm telling you right now, it's because of this shit that you're holding on to. This is a stupid ass energy. Let it the fuck go. Yeah. This has to do with something that somebody was fucking lying about. Purification. Mm-hmm. It's like they cannot let it go. Like something that they did. Even if it's like somebody here is feeling like they pretty much like. What up, Missy? It, how can I say this? They're realizing it. Or this could be you guys. I don't know. But I feel like somebody here is realizing that they have only created these blockages like in their own life. And they can't get over what they did possibly to you. And they want to make some kind of a peace offering because they feel like you're in this fucking you've you have some kind of freedom here, like in your mind, like you don't care. You're not worried about this shit like you're not tripping over this shit. But somebody here wants to make a peace offering because they're either about to pass. They're in bad health. They're needing some kind of healing from you. And this is what maybe they're being guided to do. But I feel like they need to let it go. And this is going to like purify the, the body, the mind, the spirit. Because this person's on like a lotus flower. So it's like they're sitting in their own shit right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, they're literally shitting. They're, they're literally shitting. They're literally sitting in their own shit. What up, Marissa? What up, D? Ahem. <clears throat> Somebody here, they don't, it's like they want to choose peace, but they don't. <laughs> what, what, uh, I'm gonna call you Marissa for now. No, I can't call you that. I can't call you that. <laughs> okay, now that I know your name is, Mar your real name is Marissa, I can't. Okay, it's like they want to choose peace, but they can't, or they feel like even if, like, you know, it's kind of funny. Okay, so I haven't posted a few videos yet on YouTube because I feel like they're definitely like YouTube videos. But th this was like me expressing like some personal things that I feel like I've learned over time. And it's like as much as being an empath and, and a pure person in a sense, like with your heart. It, it's so hard for you to change who you are. Like you can't change who you are. Even when people want to change who you are. And they try to project all this shit onto you. And it's like you love everybody so much that it is kind of hard to like. That's kind of why you've had a lot of issues is because of other people's projection, other people fucking trying to curse you, other people trying to, um, you know, make you doubt yourself or not like who you are because they don't like who you are and want you to be who they want you to be. And it's like, no matter what, all this shit, it's like, you're still the same. And even in your heart, like as an empath, I do always like feel that feeling of like, yeah, I want to like still forgive everybody and just like let them in because I love, I genuinely like love the people. But at the same fucking time, bitch, <laughs> but at the same fucking time, no, like you can't choose peace with people who are fucking assholes. Like you just can't as much as you know what they need because you can feel what they need as far as love goes. And you have that capacity to like love other people. And sadly to say, a lot of us put other people's needs first because we love to love people like we just have this unlimited amount of love in our heart like to help people and feel for people and you kind of like you just you just see like what they need right and it's like but they don't even see what they need they don't even know bitch they won't see it until they go through their own shit like they just some people in this world you just gotta leave them where they're at they cannot go with you. You know what I'm saying? Even if they are guided to make peace with you, bitch, I don't, it's not safe to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had this conversation with one of my homegirls, like, maybe about three or four weeks, like a month ago. 
she was having some kind of an issue here with like a, a in-law like a ex-in-law or some shit and it's like basically a family member and it's like, I'm like, bitch, this is like you. Like, she's like, well, you know, I feel like that's still like family in a way. But, you know, like if this person was dying in the hospital, like I would go see them. I'm like, for what? For what? Personally, I wouldn't. Would you go see the devil in the hospital if they were fucked? Bitch, no, I wouldn't. You got to look at it like that. I said, because if you were in the fucking hospital, they wouldn't give a shit about you. And it's like, you know, I hate to say it. I killed the people pleaser in me. LOL. Had to felt amazing i'm telling you like i just i can't like you know what i'm saying and you i feel like you shouldn't either because i don't give a fuck like you want to be so much in the light your ass gonna get sacrificed your ass gonna be used as a scapegoat your ass gonna get used and abused bitch you're gonna continue running into people that are gonna see that you have fallen for the fucking emotional bullshit because they know they can play on your heartstrings like that because that's what you genuinely love right they'll play on that shit they don't care they will play on that shit just to get your ass just to get you again no i don't feel like bitch that's why this choose pieces in sideways because i feel like this person it's like Bitch, you already know your ass is free. I feel like you're you're in this like yoga state of mind. Like you're free. You know what I mean? But this person wants to offer you some kind of peace here. And it's like, bitch, you can't offer somebody something they already fucking have, bitch, or they could get on their own. Like, what are you offering me, bitch? I mean, for you to feel fucking better? Bitch, talk to God. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry that you're having health problems. Like, oh well bitch I don't give a fuck like I'm just saying like you know what I mean and you think think what you want this is just my advice bitch you take it or leave it I don't give a hook yeah and somebody here too it's like they didn't they didn't follow their heart okay um this is somebody that they could have made peace a while ago or something and they didn't they chose not to motherfucking do it when they had the chance so I feel like now that you're um thank you now that i feel like um you bought yoga pants today bitch did you really i fucking love it <laughs> um i'm just saying like this person they're kind of like they didn't follow their heart they went with whatever was in their head or something like that uh, uh in their mind like something in their mind instead of following their heart they ended up going with something that was in their head which was like stupid to do anyways because um you know, your mind can play tricks on you, I feel like, sometimes. So you have to really be mindful, okay, of this kind of shit, pretty much. Because this person had the chance to make peace before they had all these fucking problems. And they chose not to. Oh, well. And now, because you're having all these fucking issues, now you want to... No. Goodbye. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. this is somebody too it's like you've let it go and purified i feel like your mind body and soul so it's like you're liberated bitch but this person it's like and you have expressed yourself it says right here artistic expression you could have expressed yourself or you could have let this go in a way that is unique or a unique expression right or some way to let it out this could be literally through social media this could be through tarot this could be through your journaling this could be through fucking i don't know however bitch therapist this could be you just listening to fucking tarot and fucking like realizing that hey and just growing and learning and even for some of you you guys are literally like artists okay you can paint you can draw your feelings i remember one oh, bitch i'm done one time i had one time I had to go to therapy and I didn't want to fucking go, right? So the therapist was like this art therapist. She's like, oh, I heard you like art. And I was just like, bitch, bye. Like, fuck off, right? I didn't want to be there. I did not want to be there. Now I want to be there, but I didn't want to be there. So she was like, okay, so I want you to draw how you feel, right? And I was being a little smart ass, right? So I fucking decided I was going to draw a dot. And she's like, mm, you must feel really small right now. And I was just like, bitch, fuck off. <laughs> I thought that shit was kind of funny. Like, now thinking about it, like, I drew a dot. So I was like, here, here's a dot. You must be feeling really small right now. I was just like, you know what? I don't even want to be here. Like, <laughs> that shit was funny. Um, that was you this week? 
I'm telling you, I was just like, uh uh-uh. That was my creative expression back then. I was not trying to express myself for shit. (laughs) But, you know, I mean, I don't know. You You could express yourself in any way, shape, or form. This could even be you doing something, um... It doesn't even have to be technically like an artist. I mean, you could just be um, even spiritual. I don't know, something in, I don't know, whatever the fuck it is. Going on walks, being outside in nature. Doesn't have to be a painter, but I mean, hey, you could do paintings. And who knows? God saved my life quite. I have quite the story. I'll share it someday. I would love to hear it, bitch. She brought me a clay to mold shit. (laughs) Really? What'd you make? Shit? <laughs> That's cool, I guess. <laughs> At least you got clay. I was getting mad because, like, one of the therapists was like, here's a box of magazine cutouts. And I was like, you keep bringing me the same box of fucking magazine cutouts. Like, this is boring. Like, can't you get new magazine cutouts? <laughs> And then it was like after I forgot how many sessions I had had, right? Then she like abandons me, right? And it's like, yeah, I don't think this was working out. I'm like, oh great, so now you're just gonna abandon me like everyone else, right? And I start fucking guilt tripping her about how she's gonna fucking abandon me after all these sessions, putting up with my bullshit, and now all of a sudden you're gonna say no, <laughs> you don't want to see me anymore. Well, fuck you then. That was so bad. <laughs> this was fucking stupid. This chick was like four foot nothing. I swear to God, she looked like she was fucking, like, 12. I'm like, when the fuck did you get a degree? There's no way that you're older than me. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Whatever. This could even be, like, a karmic brother. So this could be, like, um... A karmic brother that wants you to, like, listen to them. They want you... They want to tell you something, pretty much. And spiritual law of attraction is here in reverse. You know what? I am going to buy those books and I'm going to put them in the kits. So there's a book called Spiritual Laws of Attraction and like how this shit works. And so I feel like this is somebody that they cannot manifest anything. They can't. What up, Lupe? They cannot manifest shit. Yeah, I'm like, I was. What is this? I'm not five years old. My kids want to be part partaking. I know, right? It's so weird. You're doing like first grade arts and crafts. Start getting flashbacks of like kindergarten. I'm like, what the fuck? Why am I doing this? Look, Oshun is out here. This is a karmic. Who knows? Maybe this person felt like they could manifest off you. Bitch, I'm done. Again, I think we went back to like using you as a scapegoat or some shit in the beginning. I'm telling you, this is somebody who who knows that you're very fertile. And it's like they, um, this could be an ex. Because it says right here, father, husband, brother, son. And it's Osiris, but it's in reverse. So I feel like this person, it's like, be willing to forgive in reverse. Bitch, whatever this person did, it's like unforgivable. Okay? Unforgivable. Focus upon your strengths. Yeah, and this person, it's like they feel weak. Like this person, they they can only focus on like how, I feel like how stupid they made themselves look by trying to fucking come against you and knowing how fertile you are or how like, and literally fertility, I'm just going to say this, like it doesn't mean just like in your fucking uterus. You said no forgiveness, shit. Um, This does not mean like literally just you having kids. It's like in all areas of your life, you're just abundant. Okay, even when you don't have shit, like I was thinking the other day, I was like, damn, even when I didn't have shit, I still had something. You know what I mean? Like for not having shit, I still had everything. You know what I mean? And so the fuck to these kids, like you want to stay here and fucking tell me like I can't fucking man, bitch, I will manifest a fucking nickel into like 20 bucks. Like, bitch, play with me. Like I will make sure to, you know what I mean? So it's like this is just all areas of life and this person was literally trying to like manifest off of your fucking energy off your gifts and I was talking to my son about this shit. Um, I want to be a pundit in peace. Yeah, because it's like you can really grow shit right like really like bring shit to life make things happen but it's like these are people that were like they don't want you to have shit. Didn't have nothing but had everything. Exactly. That's why I was like, shit, don't even go there with me. Like, 
you know, and this is somebody that they keep focusing on like how weak they are. And it's like, they feel like you're not going to forgive them. They were trying to get you to focus on your weaknesses, like to distract you with like bullshit. Yeah, this, this is somebody who's a fucking whole ass loser. It says right here, go now. What up, paper? It says go now on this thing. Yeah. You could be somebody too that maybe you need to drink more water. Okay, definitely I've been drinking that shit ton of water. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but you know, or you could be um somebody that lives near the water or something like that. And you could be somebody that it's like you dance a lot or you sing a lot, or you could have gone out this weekend, bitch. Um But somebody here, it's like they felt like they feel like they don't have any um control over a situation anymore okay it's like they never did and Moses is on this card so it's like <sighs> bitch if God tells you to do something bitch then fucking do it you know what I mean or you're asking getting left behind is kind of what I'm getting and this person they got left motherfucking behind oh well bye bitch you know what I mean Stay focused. It's like you're focused and this person is just like sad that you're focused. This is sad and that you're guarded with shield yourself here. Bitch, why? This is this is some devil ass shit, bitch. If you're the devil hates everything good. I'm going to tell you right now, if this is somebody who just hates the fact that you're doing well for yourself and they couldn't fucking destroy you because that's clearly what the problem is here, bitch. I I don't got shit to say to none of you hoes, period. OK, especially if you try to take me out, use my kids in any way, shape or form or fuck me over, try to embarrass me, bitch. Fuck off. Ten of cups and the six of wands is out here. Yeah. OK, it's like you're manifesting this shit and it's like people are seeing this shit. Everybody's seeing this shit everybody everybody who fucking watched you pretty much <clears throat> go through whatever the fuck you now everybody's watching you fucking come up and manifest this ten of cups bitch bye ace of pentacles bitch i'm done and this is god gifting you this shit this is god literally gifting you like being almost like it's like you deserve this shit so it's like whatever money you have or anything that you do have, it's because you deserve it. Like you've worked for it. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't just expect it just because, you know, you wanted it because somebody else could give it to you or you could, you know, clout chase or some shit. What up, KK? Hold up. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't just expect it just because, you know, you wanted it because somebody else could give it to you or you could, you know, clout chase or some shit. What up, KK? Hold up. Yeah, look, eight of pentacles. Bitch, you work hard for this shit. You work hard for your family or to manifest whatever the fuck you do have. It's like you work really hard. And somebody here tried to work really fucking hard to fucking destroy you. It just, bitch. Mm -hmm. They worked so fucking hard just to fucking destroy you. Who is this? Annoying. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody who really tried hard to pretty much um make sure you had bad luck. Make sure that you couldn't manifest shit. Make sure that um, you know, anything that you did have, you would lose it. And you fucking walked away from this person because they're a fucking loser. Absolutely you earned it. And it's like, you know, this is somebody that what up, baby J? Is, yeah, you left behind because you saw this person's a fucking, um, like, just trying to drag you the fuck down. Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Okay, Eight of Cups in the upright and Eight of Wands in reverse. Like, you block this person the fuck off. You block this person the fuck off, bitch. All the way fucking off. Mm-hmm. You just lost faith in the connection. You're like, yeah, this shit's not worth it anymore. This person's a fucking weird bitch. Justice is here. Hello. Like... 
No, this is somebody that just did fucking three much, bitch. Like ten much. Like over, like over, killed it, brought it back to life, killed it again. Look at it, just being served. And this is a fucking done deal, bitch. This cycle of your life of fucking going through bullshit is fucking over. These people have tried to do everything. These these are people that are sad enough to even use your own fucking kids, bitch. Innocent fucking children. Bitch, you're fucking sad. For those of you that do have kids. For those of you that don't. For those of you that fucking don't. It's like they, they were willing to just use whatever the fuck family members, friends, karmic friends, people like to group up against you because they're fucking jealous or they fucking don't like you. And it's like, look at Queen of Swords is here. You cut everybody the fuck off, bitch. Three of Swords is in reverse. And you're cold as fuck, bitch. You don't feel nothing for these fucking hoes. What up, boys? You don't feel nothing for these bitches after what the fuck they did. But you got a lot of nerve to think that anybody's going to give a fuck about you after putting somebody through some type of bullshit like this. Fuck off. I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah. And it's like this whole time, it's like you've been doing nothing but being patient. And so, absolute bitch, it thank you. You don't feel shit. You don't. When you go through some really serious shit like this, you're, you're not. You're going to come out a lot smarter. Even if you've gone through a lot of shit, you're going to be protected through it. But you're going to be learning a lot of shit along the way. And those lessons aren't easy. And a lot of people can't get through them. That's why they usually repeat shit or they go back to the same bullshit. Hold on. Hold up. You guys can come with me to open the fucking door. Hold on. Thank you, Jason, for my starlight. Hold on. No fucking door. Hold on. Thank you, Jason, for my starlight. Hold on. Dude, there's a skunk and I got scared because I put it. Ew. Um, anyway, but. You're going to come out motherfucking champ i'm telling you you learn a lot through these fucking trials and tribulations but you know what <clears throat> you really start seeing champ i'm telling you you learn a lot through these fucking trials and tribulations but you know what <clears throat> you really start seeing through the abundance the prosperity like the stable um whew. And eventually, it's not going to be so traumatic. You know what I mean? It's like, you will go through a lot of shit, but you're going to overcome a lot of trials and tribulations, even in court, even in, you know, and it's just you against, you know, a bunch of people. Or you against, um, you know, even people behind your back doing stupid shit. Okay? Using you as a scapegoat, setting you up. And it's like, regardless, you will always come out on top. When you're somebody who's not a fucking scumbag and you're not a piece of shit, it's like you will always come out on top. I don't give a fuck what situation you're in. You're always going to fucking overcome it. And people are going to be like, how the fuck? Bitch, why? Because you're not trifling. That's why. Dumb bitch. Mm -hmm. Somebody here was talking shit. And they wanted to come. It's like they are talking shit. They want to come towards you and all this stuff, right? But it, you've already left this person. So. And they don't like the fact that you are um, so guarded. Like they expected you not to be guarded. So if this is somebody that's like, <clears throat> I'm a loving good angel. <laughs> that's right. And it's like, you know, this is. Um, what up, Anthea? Me too so much. The last eight months have changed my entire perspective Oops, shit. in life. It's been traumatic, but it's tough. It's taught me so much. <sighs> yeah, this person, they lost all their money, all the little power that they thought they had. They feel weak. And they definitely can't go anywhere. Like, they, this person didn't, they didn't stop you. Like, whatever they did, it didn't stop you. And this person pretty much is realizing that they only created blockages, like, for themselves, like a fucking idiot. And everything fucking ended up backfiring. Like, whatever the fuck they did or they helped do, this is even more disgusting. They can't even sleep 
This could even be somebody's fucking mother, bro. That like helped them. Or they thought they were going to have a new beginning with somebody else. This is, could be an empress or an emperor in reverse. This is somebody that they can't even sleep at night because they really thought that like this relationship with somebody else was like they were going to. Bitch, I'm done. This is somebody that was like fooled or tricked or again, their their mind was playing tricks on them or something like that. This, this is someone who's a full ass idiot. Mm -hmm. this is somebody who's repeated cycles with this person and they're depressed because they wanted to hide who you were like dim your shine oh for sure this is somebody that got fucking tricked for sure like they really believed that like this was this was gonna be a good choice to do and it's like you don't need to, if you're thinking that you need to fuck somebody over or like ruin them or hurt them or try to destroy their reputation you know bully them in some kind of way shape or form you um yeah you're you're fucking tripping balls bro like you're you're fucking tripping if that's what you think you need to do in order to have something that's like good. You're never going to get blessed like that. I'm just going to tell you now. Like, yeah, bitch, that's cute and all for like your little five seconds of fucking fame, bitch. But all that shit's going to fucking leave you. And when it does, there is no getting shit back, bitch. You have fucking karma to pay for a really long time for that shit. If you thought that was going to be a good idea, bitch, because it wasn't. I'm fuck. The Lulu is not the Salulu. <laughs> The Lulu was definitely not. I'm telling you, it's not. This is somebody that was fucking delusional. And they felt like, yeah, they were going to dim your shine. And they were going to, they needed to do all of this. And it's like, the outcome was still the same, bitch. You're still who the fuck you are. A1 since day one, bitch. So it's like, you know, and you're still happy. You're still in this Nine of Cups energy. You could even be in this hair font energy. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, what a finding peace. It's like, these are people that are fucking stupid. If you thought, done, done. You could be somebody that's happy. And it's like, you're somebody that's just overall, that's who you are. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> what's that one song? Um, Bittersweet Symphony. No, I can't change. I can't change, right? It's a bittersweet symphony. I'm telling you. He's all shoving the people out of the way in the fucking background. I'm telling you, like, what's a VH1 pop-up video shit? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is, and, and you're somebody that's very loyal, very loyal, and you're being very happy to myself, by myself. Yes, and it's like, you're just somebody that, you're just that way. So, I mean, they can't really change you. I mean, hey, if you're going to go through trial tribulations or they wanted to test you, it's like, bitch, go ahead and test me, bitch. Believe me, my ass is going to fucking pass. Don't test my shit, bitch, because it's like I'm going to blow your ass out the fucking water and you're not going to believe it. You know what I mean? These people, they can't believe it. <laughs> you just say, pop a video. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, and it's like, these are people that they felt like, for sure, like, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but you're in this hair font type of energy. You're somebody who's a leader. You're supposed to be a leader. And not only that, but it's like, you've left a lot of things behind, which is what you were really supposed to do anyway. So it's like, if anything, this person just, like, pushed you into your purpose a little bit faster. Oh, my God. It's motherfucking baby, y'all. It's babies in the motherfucking house, bitch. Oh, my God. Baby. <laughs> loyalty over fucking everything loyalty over everything is it super busy right now is it hella crazy right now yeah they're spying on you page of swords and five of cups yeah i bet bitch i bet they're motherfucking spying bitch because they were motherfucking lying and not only that but they're in deep regret because it's like if you're somebody who's a hair font it's like you're somebody that's loyal and you're somebody that it has like an influence bitch or you're somebody that's very close with god like people see that done 
swear having withdrawals lol i'm finally home oh finally i love your fucking nails by the way bitch i was gonna say i'm like your fucking nails are always on point i fucking love it ew i'm taking a break for a while my fucking fingers look disgusting right now loyalty is very <laughs> loyalty is very important in my morals category absolutely it is bitch if you don't even have loyalty towards your own fucking kids or just towards anybody not even yourself you can't be trusted and this is somebody here that felt like you were never gonna i'm telling you never gonna figure this out you were never gonna know it was them like this is gross this is even more disgusting the fact that you feel like you're gonna play in somebody's face and play in somebody's energy smile in their face and then Bitch, and the whole time you could have been smiling right back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. This is sad. Thank you. I haven't had them done in years, but finally able to. I fucking love it. Hell yeah, shit. You've been working that ass, bitch. They were cute. You had like black and white with like a bow on it. I saw on the in your video, they're freaking cute. Loyalty is royalty. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and this is somebody that they drink a lot. They they could like be drunk. Like, they, they just, this is somebody that's just low. They're unhealed. They don't want to heal. Like, they're just low. They're at a real, like, like almost like, I don't want to say, like, rock bottom because I feel like sometimes, thank you, I feel like sometimes rock bottom becomes, like, a bottomless, becomes, like, a bottomless pit. Yeah, it's just a bottomless pit that just, days like that you know what I mean and then they just never pick themselves up and I feel like you know for, has shame on you like shame on anybody not you you but you know what I mean like shame on these fucking karmics you know what I'm saying like for thinking that you know what I'm saying oh thank you baby thank you for my gifts thank you for my starlight I'm telling you, like, these, these people really, really, really felt, oh, my God, thank you. I got two compasses. I got three compasses. Thank you. And it's like, you are you don't hang out with these people no more. Like, if th th these are people that they love to party, bitch. Like, that's all they do. And you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Like, you are not trying with the Three of Cups in reverse. This came out first, the so three of cups in reverse, and then the queen of pentacles. Like, you're not, this could even be king of pentacles. Take away it resonates, it doesn't really matter. But either way, king or queen of pentacles, like, you're not trying to fuck with this. You're just not. You're not trying to hang out with people like this. Like, you have shit to do, especially if you know that these people in the past with tower being here in reverse. Especially if you know that these hoes were fucking, like, just playing games or fucking smiling in your face, fucking backstabbing you pretty much. You're good. Lovers in reverse. Yeah, this person created a tower for you or they were creating a lot of towers for you little by little until, you know, possibly it could have been like, well, this is the last straw, bitch, type of shit. And you could have been, oh, my God, this is so cute. Thank you for the couch potato. <laughs> Thank you. Um those days are over partying was like high school and college yeah life's not a party you know what i'm saying like bro i'm busy don't have time for bullshit in my life yes and it's like people they just <laughs> you wanted to see it well thank you and i didn't even know that was there the couch potato they have some cute little um like gifts in there that's funny thank you guys um yeah, and I feel like you could have invested a lot of time into this karmic ass fucking relationship and found out like this shit got you nowhere with Ace of Wands in reverse. Like this is somebody that you could not grow with, you could not be creative with, you could not have shit with this person, you could not do shit with this person, you could not share anything with this person. Like this is someone who's just a fucking loser. Like this person, ew, this person could have like bragged to people about you like, like as if you were on their fucking, you know all like sprung on them or some shit like bitch bye this is someone that really believed bitch you boost their self-esteem i'm telling you stop boosting these whole self-esteem i posted that shit the fucking meme or whatever the fuck i put a fucking over there talking shit on their fucking paragraph later <laughs> but it's like you know stop boosting these motherfuckers bitch i know i did shit i stopped making motherfuckers feel better about themselves bitch because i already know like i'm not get they don't deserve your motherfucking energy okay fuck all these hoes because without you they ain't shit 
And this person could have like gone to jail with Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords. <laughs> this person could have gone to jail. Boost theirs and murder my own. Yeah, fuck that shit. Like, bitch. Bye. Shit. It's your low self-esteem ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. You're lucky. My ass fumbled upon your fucking lame ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Lucky I fucking, you know what I mean? So, you know, these are people that they didn't see you as a blessing. They definitely just kind of took your kindness for weakness and just felt like they were just going to treat you however. And you would never figure this out or get tired of it. You just keep allowing them to pretty much use you as a safety cushion. You know what I'm saying? Or use you as a scapegoat. It's like, no, bitch. Those days are over, sweetie. For real. Like, fuck that shit. And this person, all they did was fucking... This is somebody, too, that wanted... It's like... <sighs> This is somebody that's very immature, extremely immature. This could be somebody that's always in that jail or they just always want you up in their head or like you were always in your head, like a head case kind of innocence. Like when you were around this person or this person wanted you to always feel like, you know, life was just always going to be about bad news and you just better get used to it. You know what I mean? Type shit like no, bitch, that's not going to happen either. This is definitely somebody who um, they could have an active warrant as of right now. With Page of Pentacles and Reverse. Yeah, this is somebody too that they're always focused like on somebody else's money or like, God, I could keep going on about these two cards being together. I'm telling you, like, this is somebody too that they're always up in their head because they're focused on other people's money. Like, they're never focused on their own money. They're always focused on what other people got going on and what they could take from that. Almost like a motherfucking tax collector. Bitch, who in the fuck are you? Like, this is somebody that just feels like, you know, <laughs> whatever you got they need to have a little bit of that like no bitch there's somebody too that wanted you to feel trapped or like responsible bitch if you have kids with this person they don't take care of their motherfucking kids bitch they don't take care of their motherfucking kids this could also be somebody that um <laughs> five of wands is out here too fuck and this person likes to talk a lot of shit, argue, fight. You know, this is this could be somebody that got fucked up in jail. <laughs> this could be somebody, like, if you see them, they could be, like, beat up or some shit or had to go to medical. <laughs> That's for some of you bitches. I'm dead. Don't take care of his kid. Dang. Yeah, look at Ace of Swords in reverse. This person, is they probably got their ass beat or some shit like that. Because they lied about a court situation or this person's a fucking snitch or some shit is what I'm getting or fucking I'm done. This is somebody who's going through it, bitch. This is pretty sad. Page of Pentacles in reverse, eight of swords, eight of swords, five of wands, and the ace of swords in reverse. Soap twins, baby. Ain't hey, nobody wants to be that motherfucker, Selly. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Selly's mad. They're beefing it right now. Ew, ten of wands. Yeah, this person they don't want to. They don't want to sword fight anymore with this person. I'm done. Like this is somebody who's really seriously like. Nobody likes this person right now, and they wanted this shit for you. They wanted nobody to like you. They wanted you to hate yourself. Like, this is somebody that really wished the worst. And it's sad, bitch. Like especially if, you know. This was somebody, unfortunately, you, you know, was with at one point in time. It's like, bitch, you're embarrassed. I, I know, bitch, I don't even know you, ho. Bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> bitch, who? <laughs> I'm sorry embarrassed as fuck fucking embarrassing bitch you know what i mean like no ew so hate to say it all of, your baby daddy is all of these things yucky he hates me but wants me it's gross ew ew don't you hate that shit like if you can't even fucking like do you guys ever use those words like scam or like mac you know what i mean like oh my god let's go french kiss you know what i mean but it's like yeah let's go scam. if you can't even fucking like french kiss your fucking bd or your bitch it's over 
it's over don't even touch me don't don't touch me like you know what i mean like when it's like really like that ew if you can't even bitch if i don't even want your face in my face bitch i definitely don't want you touching me bye bye ew that's how you know it's truly over bitch that's how you know it's over like i'm sorry like i can't even get aroused by making out with you like i'm good i can't even you can't even get my shit wet bitch it's drier than desert bye i can't it's not happening i'm sorry my fucking shit is soft can't can't mm-hmm mine straight trash <laughs> reina <laughs> Queen of Cups and then the Seven of Swords. And then we have the King of Wands and the Moon. Oh, so this per okay. So what I'm getting here is that this person feels like you were you were cheating on them on the low. Or this is the bullshit that they were telling people. I didn't give a fuck, bitch. After I fucking left my BD, bitch, it's a free for all ho. Especially after what the fuck was done to me, bitch. I didn't give a fuck. I was a straight savage. I don't give a fuck. Kiss my ass, bitch. Kiss my motherfucking ass, bitch. I'm sure that nigga wish he could now, shit. Huh. Yup. <laughs> what up, Lupe? <laughs> okay, so this is somebody that, um... Somebody here too could have been like fucking around with or you could be fucking around with somebody and you're not fucking you're keeping it a secret or this person feels like, you know, they want you to fuck on the low or something like that. <laughs> so this could be a situation. You could be a, a water sign. This person could be a fire sign. Oh, shit. Oh. Um, or this, this person, they could have just fucking cheated on you all the time and they're just disgusting. You know what I mean? Like this person could have fucking cheated on you a lot. We lost another family member last week. They found him dead in the truck. What do you mean? Who? Well, I guess if you don't want to say it, but what the fuck? I am so sorry. Is it is it like the immediate family? My brother steps on. Oh my god. <gasps> I am so sorry. Was that all here? <sighs> well, that sucks. Was he really young? I'm telling you, he was 25. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you, you cannot get shit from no one anymore. Like, everything is just garbage. It literally is. It's all garbage. All garbage. I'm telling you. That's sad. It's a shady situation. Ew. I am so sorry to hear that, Lupe. Wow. So young. I'm telling you, people need to stop fucking getting loaded because everybody's fucking shady as fuck. Hogging all the good shit and giving everybody else cut up shit, not giving a fuck, like, about people's fucking lives. Like, damn, don't you bitches want fucking business? And it's like you're fucking killing off all your fucking customers, you fucking lames. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are idiots. I'm just saying, just keeping it real. I wouldn't want somebody's fucking... You know what I mean? Would not want to be responsible for somebody who's fucking passed away off of my shit. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wow. Fair no. Hmm. Disgusting. You know what's crazy is that um a friend of mine, her cousin, who I knew was um he had passed away it's been i think it was like a little over a year now and he just had an anniversary but rest in peace fucking 
Shout out to Louis. But, you know, it's like when you're mixing shit too, I'm just going to say this. Like when you're mixing shit, not only that, but like when you have a bunch of crap, like shitty ass, whatever the fuck you're getting and it's like shitty dope or whatever. It's like that shit will fuck with your heart. Not only that, but it's like, you know, and then you're drinking on top of that. I mean, it's like you will give yourself a fucking heart attack. Supposedly, you know, like I don't think he meant to do it. But, like, they found him dead. You know what I mean? But he had been drinking. Fucking doing Lord knows what. But I feel like he was, um, I don't know. I just, it was so weird, you know? Like, no one expected it. What up, Chosen Star? Thank you so much for my gifts. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's like, it's just, you know, you never know, like. It's just sad. Um, somebody here could have also known that whoever they were with that was like cheating or whatever, it's like you could have investigated as well. Like somebody here investigated, um, Or there could have been somebody that somebody was cheating with in secret. And it's like. I don't know why I'm getting like somebody cheated. You could have had to like be strong through this shit. And like somebody here was like investigating. Or you could have like healed after this. Like you're like fuck this shit. Because, you know, this person was, like, betraying you or something. You could have also stopped hanging out with this person. Or you could, yeah. This person could have been cheating on somebody with, like, a friend. Ew. This person could have been, like, screwing someone in your family. Mm Mm-hmm. This could have motivated somebody to, like, move forward or, like, guard themselves against this person. So, like, you could have stopped fucking around with this person. And, like, investing in yourself. This is somebody who definitely, like, secretly fucking betrayed you. And, like, wanted you to invest in them. Or, like, fuck, some fucking lame bullshit. And it's like, you're guarded against this person. Somebody here is, like, guarded against this person. And you found out. Yeah, and it's like, this motivated you to, like, just move different. You caught him with a friend? Shut up. Wow. Disgusting. Disgusting. Did you fuck her up, bitch? No, just please. Now they're both dead to me, bitch. And you know what's crazy is that, like, I don't even understand, like, how in the fuck. Like, who in the fuck do you think you are in the first place to sit there and fucking cheat on somebody? And then you want to play in their face. And not want them to go anywhere. Like you want them to be loyal to you. But they're not loyal. You know what I'm saying? But they're not loyal to you. Fuck that shit. I mean they want them. They want you to be loyal to them. Yeah but then they're not loyal to you. Either one was worth it. You know what? Fuck both those hoes bitch. Good for you. Fuck. I don't know what the fuck I would have done. If I actually caught you bitch. I don't know. I'm not sure. I really don't know. That's crazy. And it's like, yeah, somebody here, there's another person here. There's another person, this King of Cups. And then there's this fucking bitch ass King of Swords in reverse. Somebody here, they want... It's like they want an opportunity with you or this person too. They could have um came off like they were this fucking loving, caring fucking person. And really they weren't. They were just talking a bunch of shit. Um, and didn't feel anything. And they just felt like, you know, you were somebody that was like, you know, this is somebody that's like an opportunist in a sense. You know, it's kind of what I'm getting. 
I also feel like maybe somebody here might be coming towards you or they have already, take it where it resonates, like came towards you. And this person, they feel like they want an opportunity with you. Like they don't want to miss an opportunity with you because this person could have been trying to cock block a situation or some shit like that, like a lame. This person also could have accused you of fucking around or something. And this person's like trying to justify the fact on like why they did what they did. No, bitch. No. No, they need to stay away. I'm done. Yeah, like trying to justify like, oh, yeah, well, like, like trying to say like, well, you did it to me first or some shit like that. I was like, no, bitch. That shit was funny as fuck because I was so fucking loyal. I didn't even really fucking care what the stupid bitch did. Like just when you're in my presence and you're in our fucking home or in my home, I guess I should say. Then you need to respect my fucking rules. Obviously, you need to fucking respect that, you know, we have the fucking kids here. But this dumb bitch could never fucking. I'm done. This was also this King of Cups here. I feel like um, this other person. It's like this new person. You could also be somebody, if you are this king of cups, it's like you're someone that has a lot of faith or you've developed a lot of faith. You could be somebody that's like an earth angel, someone that's like a healer, and somebody here sees this shit. You don't want to start over with this other person or you don't want to be with this other person. Like you left this ass. You left that ass, bitch. Your ass ain't going back. This is somebody who's fucking delusional, bitch. This is somebody who really felt like you were just going to keep going back and forth with this person. Like they were just going to keep draining your fucking energy or something. And now they're fucking depressed because you're able to just kind of, bitch, you've always been able to be in this nine of pentacles energy. You're somebody who's smart. You're intelligent. You have your own job, right? You don't need a fucking or your own business. You go to school. You're not somebody who's a fucking loser. You set goals. You meet them. If not, you set your standards higher. You know what I'm saying? I was loyal, but he didn't. He did and what he did doesn't change who I am. Exactly. Like a lot of people, um, they feel like they want to suppress you in a, in some type of way so they can continue living however the fuck they want to and then just use you as a fucking backup. And it's like, no, bitch. You know, it's like they, they can't stand the fact that this didn't like break you down or make you crawl back to them or. Bitch. That shit's hilarious to me. I'm sorry, but you must be fucking out of your mind. Like, damn, bitch, did I really boost your self-esteem that fucking high, bitch? I made you feel that good that you felt like you were going to be able to do all that. And then I would just continue to fucking... What up, bro? That I would just continue to fucking sit here. Bitch, goodbye. Especially if you've been in connection with somebody for a really long time. Like, bitch, bye. We've been seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... I've had that shit since I was like 14, bitch, bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no one's giving a fuck. Have fun on that shit, bitch. You know, like, goodbye. Had that shit before anybody else did, so I don't really give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And, like, like people swear, like, they're going to stay in a relationship over dick and pussy. Like, no, bitch, that's not going to work either. Good fucking riddance. What up, Lee? what up lee shout out to canada <laughs> emperor in reverse this could be a dusty father figure mm -hmm. this is somebody who's fucking mean too like this is someone who's fucking mean like they're just an asshole and they feel like they're gonna dictate your fucking life or your money <sighs> bitch i remember when somebody tried to call me one day Trying to get money out of me for his fucking debt. And I'm like, bitch, I didn't even know that he was in fucking debt. And we have we we've gotten divorced. So don't you ever fucking call my phone like that again, bitch. The fuck? I don't think you know how to bitch. I don't think you know who the fuck I am, bitch. Like, no. Don't call me and ask me for shit. A bunch of fucking crackheads, bro. Done. Let me know if the kids have any any birthdays coming up. I will shit. We have fucking birthdays coming up like all your <laughs> 
<laughs> Next one's in July. We got two. <laughs> Hopefully the kids are, are over for summertime. The, the <laughs> But this is somebody that, um, shit, we are the party. <laughs> we got two also July 2nd and 3rd. Do you really? Oh my God. Yeah. I have one first and second week of, uh, July. I mean, second week of July. Ooh. I got a cancer and a Leo. What up, Dollar? Dollar Hala. <laughs> what up, Lee? Um, but yeah, this is somebody too that was happy, like trying to control shit behind the scenes. Overindulgence. Like, this is somebody that just overindulges in garbage. And they can't ever fucking move forward. Like, this is somebody that always, they just think really prematurely. You're like, they're going to have, like, this godlike complex or some shit. Bitch, bye, fuck off. This is someone who really feels like they're just God's gift to this fucking earth is kind of what I'm getting. <laughs> and this is somebody who really felt like they were going to, um, like, they run shit or something. It's like, no, bitch. You don't run shit besides your fucking ass cheeks and your fucking mouth, bitch. That's pretty much about it. And even that shit's getting fucking old. Fucking ran through ass. Smelling like shit. <laughs> Two of cups and reverse. There was no equal give and take in this shit, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, the Lulu was the Salulu for this fucking lean right here. Delusional ass. <laughs> What up, Tiff? Um, yeah, this is somebody that, you know, they wanted you to be in an illusion, like under an illusion. Or this person, this person ended up hooking up and cheating with this fucking queen of wands in reverse who was placing some fucking spell work over this person. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, bitch, me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. this is somebody who was literally placing spell work over this person. Like, they just felt like, you know, I'm telling you, like, oh, yeah, like, this fucking, this, this girl's fucking super fine. Like, bitch, goodbye. Spell's broken. Now this person's over here sad as fuck. <laughs> Remember Shallow How? Hey, every, hey, he thinks she's fine and she's fucking ugly as shit. It's like that. <laughs> Look at six of, six of swords. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is somebody that's like a fucking bitch. This person, too, could have tried to say, like, oh, my God, yeah, da, 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 I'm pregnant. And, like, you fucking, you left that bitch. <laughs> hey, I hate to say, hey, who the fuck is this for? Hey. <laughs> I'm done. Hold on. Wait, this is getting really fucking juicy. Yeah, like this person was like, oh my god, like trying to make it drama. Like, yeah, by the way, I'm pregnant. I'm done with you fucking hoes. Stop. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, six of fucking swords. The ace, <laughs> ace of cups, the world card in reverse, and then the devil. I'm done. Who is this bitch? Yes, like they wanted you to believe like, yes, they loved you or like you were in love with them, this and that. And you rejected this bitch. <laughs> I'm done. If this person was somebody here lied about a pregnancy, mm, wasn't theirs. Duh, I could have told you that shit. But <laughs> Somebody here lied. Mm -hmm. Um, The lovers is out here. Damn, judgment. Yeah, somebody here did not want to be under judgment for fucking around with another person. They're confused. <laughs> I don't know. Who's the baby daddy? Eight of Cups. Bitch, you left that ass. 
I bet they confused, bitch, I'm fucking done. Yeah, not only that, it's like, you left that ass and you were like, you know what, bitch, I'm good. This could be male or female shit, it don't matter. Like, somebody here was just like, I'm done with your ass, you're a fucking hoe, I'm out, like, you're fucking dust, bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, wowzers. Mm -hmm. This is somebody, too, that they didn't want to go through a transformation because they wanted this Ten of Pentacles. They were trying to come up. Like, they thought they came up in this life. And they wanted to keep you confused. Like, and, it, and they knew they were a stalemate. This person knew. Look it. They're trying to come in and apologize. Like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I love you. The DNA test was wrong. Like, bitch, no. DNA doesn't lie. <laughs> I literally had a bitch say that shit one time. I was like, you're fucking crazy, bitch. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, I did my job. I'm done. I'm gone. Have fun with that shit. Good luck. I'm going to make an exit now. Um, but I feel like, yeah, this person, you know, with two pinnacles here, the tower, the ace of pinnacles in reverse. And then we have the eight of wands. So it's like somebody here got exposed quick, bitch, for um, going back and forth in between two people. Not only that, but this person's broke and it's like clearly they were trying to use somebody for some type of money. She said, absolutely not. Don't even breathe in my direction, bitch. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody too that they knew they were going to lose out on some kind of money here. And they, yeah, they got exposed quick. Like somebody here could have tried to take somebody to court for child support and they lied. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Good luck with that shit, bitch. Ha! Ah! The six of wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like nobody. I feel like no one gives a fuck. And then we have the high priestess here. This is somebody who thought that they were going to have some kind of success here. It's like all this shit was hidden. They're tr they're embarrassed. Like somebody here was trying to hide this shit. Mm -hmm. It's like, and this is the truth. High priestess here is also truth. Like this is the truth, bitch. I almost forgot this was tarot, not comedy club, bitch. I'm telling you, is this? I'm telling you, this is, uh, yeah, this is somebody who, like, really did the fucking most, bitch. I don't know. And now it's like, now that this truth has came out about what this person was, like, trying to do, it's like, you don't give a fuck anymore. Ten of Wands in reverse. This is, and then the Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, this person, this is what they get. Like, oh, well, ain't your problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, come on. Like, you know who the fuck your BD is, bitch. Well, you better make sure that shit's fucking, you know what I mean? Somebody's, if you, especially if you're trying to milk some kind of money out of their ass, bitch, you better make sure that shit's theirs. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Like, you're really gonna fucking do all that? And then you know down what, bitch. Bye. Bye. And this person, too, is like, not only is this person receiving karma, but the people that were helping this shit, like, pump this up and, like, you know, make this person believe. It's like they're also going through bad karma. Pretty much shouldn't be listening to a stupid bitch. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. This whole fucking family. Yeah. Somebody here chose to have the Ten of Cups with somebody else or some shit like that. Or it's like they're just going after whatever the fuck. It's like they've made a decision to be happy or like choose themselves. Um, this actually helped or this is helping somebody move on in another direction to have a Ten of Cups with someone else. Um, and a goal towards happiness because it's like being in a karmic cycle like this could have been carrying on for a long time. This could have been going on for like lifetimes already, like so many lifetimes. And finally, in this lifetime, you like this person has gotten caught out on their bullshit. And so now it's like you've been set free in a way. Yeah, this is sad. Damn, I'm going to tap out of this shit. This is kind of fucked up. Yeah, so it's like this person can't get away with this shit anymore. So like if this person was like trying to go back and forth between you and like their real BD um, and like trying to keep some fucking weird trash love connection going on. What up, soup? Okay. This person also with whoever their real BD is, it's like not only were they trying to milk a masculine for money 
knowing that it wasn't even their child. But they were also going to still have, like, some kind of a rendezvous with the fucking, with the person that, that was really the child's father. But it's like, this person was going to be responsible for the fucking child financially. And then this person would have never known. Like, they were trying to try to, like, keep it a secret or something. Bitch, you're a fucking trash asshole. And that person, they don't even really, like, bitch, they got left. Like, that, that bitch got left. Straight the fuck up. Ready for the new new. I don't read my books backwards. Shit. Bitch. This is sad. And somebody here is fucking guarded as shit against this person. Like, shit, this could even be the real BDA. They're like, well, that shit ain't mine. Fuck. Hey, you're fucked. You already signed the birth certificate, bitch. <laughs> Hey, they ain't giving a fuck. I'm telling you, like, it's crazy because this is someone that's stupid as fuck. This is <laughs> hey, for real. Hey, motherfuckers are stupid as fuck. Bitch, you better make sure you're hitting that shit every day. I'm fucking dead ass. Bitches don't know. They're over here fucking around like fucking Lord knows who. You know what I'm saying? Like literally going both in between fucking not knowing. Like how the fuck don't you know, bitch? Bitch, if I didn't motherfuck, bitch, I'm going to take that ass to Planned Parenthood, bitch. What do you mean you don't know? They got to take that commissary for that for child support, bitch. Shit. Took one for the team, bitch. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, this is somebody who, um, mm, mm, mm. I don't know, bitch, shit, ain't no one trying to be this bitch's baby daddy, fuck, I don't know, this bitch fucked up, though, and they try to make a big ass bitch, and they try to make a big ass deal over fucking money for this child, like, bitch, how, how fucking, that's the shit that killed me, bitch. You already know you got this motherfucker hooks and all this shit. And then you want to make a big old shit once somebody tries to leave. Knowing damn well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even want to fucking say shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking let it be. And this bitch wants, this is how this person got caught up for being a greedy bitch. For wanting something that ain't even fucking rightfully fucking theirs, bitch. Or that child's like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. And this person has fucking anxiety like a motherfucker because they didn't get this new beginning. They got rejected. They got rejected like somebody here is feeling really stupid right now because no one wants to talk to this person. Somebody here feels like a fucking pretty much a reject, bitch. Look, seven of wands, four of swords in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, and then the four of cups. Like, bitch, this person been known. Spirit was trying to give this person a cup the whole time. Like, all right, I'm going to help you out here. Bitch, you want to fucking, too late now. And this person, if you're the woman who is dealing with, this is like your ex or some shit, and they were in a situation like this with some fucking hole that they were connected to, bitch. And they, they treated this person like better than you or fucking treated this person's fucking child like as if they were fucking theirs and didn't fucking care about yours bitch and then come to find out this kid ain't even theirs bitch like bye get the fuck out of here bye bitch i think we had that shit too like a few months back about like a child not being there like we haven't really had these fucking readings in a while but this could be like the other parts of it you know what i mean like coming out this is a done deal. Like, it's a wrap. Like, all these truths had to come out. Like, don't come in my motherfucking energy trying to lie, bitch. Because some shit's going to get on. You know what I mean? Like, something is going to be put out there about some kind of truth, bitch. Don't, don't fucking play in my energy. I'm just saying, bitch. I don't give a fuck who it is. Like, someone's going to get exposed, bitch. Especially when you're in, like, you're not, you're not in, like, 
good energy and you're trying to fucking like trap bamboozle or fucking like swindle some shit from someone that i'm connected to or some shit like that bitch everything's gonna come out everything's gonna come out it's all gonna come out like diarrhea bitch and when it does there's no taking it back mm -hmm. and people are seeing that you're somebody that's um this came out like all over the internet <laughs> or this could have been like public some kind of like news or something about how fucking guarded you are and why not only that but this person has anxiety because they're stuck they couldn't make you stuck or something like that you're unstuck and it's like this person also doesn't have shit coming and this is just it is what it is like they're just gonna have to live with the just like the choices or like the decisions that they have chosen to make and that's that's it like those are their lessons to learn not yours like it's not your problem like it's not your problem mm -hmm. and with this ten of wands in reverse and the ace and the wheel i'm sorry the wheel of fortune on top of it this is you so i feel like again peace bitch <laughs> peace bitch okay your ass is cool man you're good bitch you got some good shit coming your way you have good luck this person got stuck oh well too bad sucks to be you too bad so sad you know what i mean like well you moved on to calmer waters bitch your ass is gone okay probably with this nigga's real child right here <laughs> hey you and the kids is gone bitch but for real though like you just you rejected that ass bitch you rejected that ass and you moved on to calmer waters like bitch not your portion not your problem period period we sailed away shit for real look at this is person's worst nightmare and it's like not only that but this person feels stupid as fuck like they're literally being like publicly humiliated the same way that they publicly humiliated or shamed you or try to embarrass you with this fucking stupid bitch this embarrassing bitch mm -hmm. and they worked really hard with these karmics behind the scenes to keep you trapped literally to keep you trapped without you knowing this was spell work this was heavy fucking spell work heavy fucking spell work they were using over you mm -hmm. they got exposed for this shit they got exposed quick these fucking look at this came out like this with the fucking three of pentacles in reverse i don't know if you guys can see it and the fucking eight of wands these people got exposed bad mm-hmm with this fucking devil energy like trying to fucking secretly fucking yeah this is somebody too that was like playing okay so these are people that were like literally trying to make sacrifices like for power money fucking all kinds of shit and a lot of things in these people's lives she said good luck with that shit i'm not even playing a lot of bad things have happened in these people's lives like a lot of bad things have happened because of the shit that they were playing with bitch i'm telling you and they really believe like they were gonna fucking get somewhere with the shit bitch you ain't the fuck these people are going through heavy fucking karma bitch heavy heavy telling you stupid everything reversed on this person yeah this five of wands is in reverse with the fucking the illusion has broken and now they want to solve something like they want to make like hey let's fucking talk about the shit hey like what's up this is what they this is what they're thinking are they ever going to actually be able to do it because if you are really truly guarded or whatever you guys don't need to deal with these people no more so it's like whatever look king cups in reverse and the fucking hair in reverse i'm telling you this is somebody who hasn't changed they're still in the same old same old energy not only that but this is somebody who um they're, they've been nothing but disloyal to you and now they want to solve a problem bitch what are you talking about what problem bitch there, there hasn't been no fucking problem bitch since your ass been out the picture the fuck bitch you better go talk to god about that shit or fucking lucifer bitch i don't know whoever the fuck bitch that you thought you were you know what i'm saying and then you want to come in some dusty ass energy and try to pollute my clean air bitch bye get the fuck out of here get the fuck out of here i'm telling you i'm telling you this is somebody who um they're fucking pissed <laughs> they're pissed off so they're lying they're like sitting <sighs> and this person thought okay well if I'm, a, I'm a fucking lie on this person 
<laughs> this person thought I'm gonna lie on this on on this fucking bitch because she don't want to fucking make up with me or something like that. Or dude, whatever the fuck, take it where it resonates. You don't have to be. You could be a chick too. You know what I mean? Are you dealing with your bitch or something or your ex bitch? Like, all right, and this motherfucking this whole, I like okay. Well, if this this motherfucker doesn't want to make up with me, well then I'm just gonna go ahead and talk shit. I'm gonna make up shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking slander the fuck out of this fucking this bitch. And you know what I mean? What up, Jeff? Exactly. Better do that shadow work. Uh huh. I'm not about to be fighting somebody else's demons. Thank you, shit, or praying for them. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is somebody um, that is very immature. Like, they feel like if they're able to manipulate people and play on people's emotions. Yeah, bitch, this is somebody that's just cold-hearted. And they don't give a fuck about, like, what they have to do to get their way. They just, they'll do anything. Excuse me. They'll do anything. And it's crazy because it's like, whatever, whatever the fucking shit that they were saying, it's like... Yo, literally, this person smells like shit because all they do is talk shit, literally, and they're full of shit. <laughs> oh, and you know what? It's like not only that, I'm not gonna say that, but um, this is somebody. This is somebody too that they um. I mean, you don't hang out with this person anymore. Like you don't. Um, thank you, Jeff. I'm telling you, like you do not hang out with this person anymore. So it's like you know, and this this person feels like shit because they. This person literally could be sick. And you know what? If this person had like a fucking fake ass baby mama or whatever, it's like that bitch. <laughs> I knew it. I could fucking hear you saying that shit. Say it. I knew it. I can't say it. I don't even want to say it. This person literally could be like constipated. Like they can't poop. I'm not playing. I know that sounds so weird, but like literally they're full of shit. Like they're backed up. Like something about something being backed up. I don't know. I don't know. Ew. Anyways, I'm not, it's grossing me out. So this is somebody, <laughs> this is literally somebody that they could be fucking sick, bitch. And, and if they were trying, if they have this fake ass baby mama, it's like, this is somebody, okay. Or you put the situation to rest or whatever. It's like, this person literally could be fucking sick. And so this fake baby mama or whoever the fuck was trying to get money from, like, I guess that they knew they, they thought maybe they're going to get money. or <laughs> They're trying to collect your kids, motherfucking bitch. He is. Are you serious? Dang. Shit. Mm hmm. They thought they were going to come. Bitch, you ain't collecting nothing. Yeah, look. This person's going to jail, too. This person could be in jail or they're up in their head about. I'm telling you that this part. Bitch, what up? Mi amor. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, this is somebody who. um. They just. Bitch, they did the most. And now their ass is about to be a ghost. So, I mean, hey, whatever. Yeah, this is somebody that really, like, mm -hmm, they're up in their head. Or, you know, if you're not dealing with fucking jailbirds, it's like somebody here is just, like, sick. And they're in their head about it. Like, hey, Pooh, you're thirsty? Okay. Anyways, you guys, I got to go, bitch. I got to go. Love you.